Hello, my name is Jay's, and today I'm going to be holding all my friends hostage in the back rooms in Minecraft. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Just because it's fun. But first things first, we have to code an entire mod to go alongside of that. That includes entities, <laughs> blocks, structures, an infinite generation dimension, and all sorts of other things. So, let's get started. Also, before anyone complains in the comments section, no, this is not all lore accurate. Thank you, goodbye. To start with, I made some flooring and wall blocks, which were simple enough. And aside from these three, there's three other blocks that I want to introduce to you. The first of which being the goop tile, which basically slows you down and gives you the wither effect. Then there's the flicker light, which buzzes and turns on and off every now and then. Yeah, that works as intended. And finally, I have this block called the roof tile, and I'll show you how this works. Basically, in Minecraft, there's this feature called backface culling that helps prevent lag. For example, it's using the leaves block because it has a lot of textures that intertwine and don't actually need all their faces to look normal. But in this case, I've used it for a unique feature. Ta-da! The bottom is completely solid. What this means is that when my friends are down there running for their lives, I can be up here walking around on top of these blocks and be completely safe while watching them. Oh, and to prevent players from being total cowards, yeah, these, um, these break. And now that we have all these blocks, I present the concept number one of the back rooms in Minecraft. Have a look at that. This is absolutely insane. Look at that, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to get working on the rest of this. This is sick. And now that we have the blocks and a conceptual structure, it's time to get building so I can get this thing generating around the world. Making this structure required a few steps, namely making the maze, building up the walls, adding the roof, adding some lights, adding the roof on top of the roof, and then finally, we have a segment of the back rooms. These structures even have a roof crawl space for when players decide to go up here via a ladder. I also edited the base complementary shaders to make it about as accurate as possible, which was optional for the players that wanted to use it, which as you can see is not really needed technically, but it will improve the experience. So it's great not that we have this maze structure, but we're gonna need a few more mazes to make sure that it all connects smoothly. Yeah, those will probably do it. And if you're familiar with Backroom's lore, you'll probably recognize a few of these, including the pitfalls and the manila room. And of course, to keep it interesting, I made some custom rooms such as this one, which are a lot different from the regular maze. And now that we have all these structures individually, we can use structure blocks to connect them all up like so. So as you can see, this is how the structure generates all connected up. And from the inside, this works perfectly. It looks like the back rooms. But our current issue is that it's not really infinite. So uh, yeah, uh, let's fix that. So we're currently in a normal Minecraft world and you can see the structure over there. But I've also made it so it generates inside of a custom dimension, which hopefully if I do this... Please work, please work, please work. Hey, 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 hang on. <laughs> okay, so the floor is missing, but it is generating. Holy sh Okay, so in theory, this should give us access to an infinite structure. There's no floor to the <laughs> no floor to the structure, but you know that's that's fixable. We can we can work off this. This is a good start, indeed. Oh my god, I'm so happy it's working. Okay, so take two because I forgot to add a floor last time. Let's let's give it a go. I don't. I think the floor's there. I think the floor's there. Are you shooting me? It's working. Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to get excited. Look, there's a floor. We have an infinite structure. <laughs> Holy. F Oh my god, the backrooms works! Holy sh**, alright, let's go. And there you have it, infinite structure generation is officially working. And in case you don't believe me, have a look at this. <laughs> oh, it is actually beautiful. It looks actually so amazing. For those of you who are a bit confused, let me give you a short rundown. Essentially what's happening is that a structure is being summoned and then using a function called the jigsaw block, which I explained more in my desert update video, it places several more or less structures around the outside creating this huge square. This square is then placed in the super flat dimension, which is then summoned with other squares alongside of it, making a massive grid pattern which eventually links up. Basically all these structures are so big and so common that it makes an infinite structure that you can walk through with no escape. So, now that we have the structure sorted out, it's time to get some functionality going. In terms of features, it's a little bit hard to make sure the mod is working as intended without having something to be scared of in the structure. Admittedly, it does alter the initial idea of the back rooms, but I don't have enough time to reconsider and work around, so we're just going to go with it. And the first thing that we're implementing is the Smiler. Those of you who are not aware of the backrooms lore, essentially the Smiler is a creepy face with a formless body that hunts wanderers down. Which is fun, but uh, we need to translate it into a feature in Minecraft. So, here's an early version of it. Oh! Oh no! Oh, the go, the go, the go! Get away from me! Ooh! Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. This here is the Smiler. And good lord, do I love how it came out. Let me step you through it, because um, a lot of effort went into it. The Smiler has a few main components. Before attacking the player, it will set off three pieces of code. It has to make sure the player is within six blocks, it then has to make sure it is standing in the dark, and finally, it must set itself to running mode. If the Smiler begins its attack, it will activate the darkness effect for those who are nearby. It will also change its texture to show its body, and it will either charge at or jump towards the player. And, with that small amount of code, we have a unique entity that will only attack in darkness at a short range distance. So, let's give it a test. Hello, Nick. Hello. How are you going? I'm going alright, I suppose. Not for long. Okay, buddy, you should be able to join now. Oh. Okay, I um. Oh boy. I gotta build the back room still. I can escape. <laughs> Can't believe you're having me build my own death trap. Alright, welcome, oh. sir. Welcome. You know. 
<laughs> you, Why am I goop. dying? The goop, the goop. The goop kills me. Why are they there? What do you mean, why are they there? Why are they not moving is more important. Well, you should just go find out. I don't want... <laughs> Fine. You Hang should on. be moving. Come up. Oh, he's moving! Oh, he's moving! Oh, 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 another one! There's another one! No. Run, run, run! Check, check. <laughs> hey, but... Why have you done this? Why have you done this? <laughs> <laughs> They're after us, bro. They're gonna get you. <laughs> I don't want to look back. Why are you... And in case you're wondering, the person that animated the smile was the dead comedian. They will of course be linked down in the description, like the rest of the people to help out in this video. Based off his walk cycle, also made the tentacles kind of swing out a little bit, so it changed from this to this. What's up, gang? Today we're going to be showing off this smile. Have a look at the new animation. Hang on, let me, let me close this. <laughs> I hate that. No! To continue with the theme of entities, I chose two more commonly known Backrooms monsters to replicate. The Bacteria and the Death Moth. The Bacteria, which is part of the Kane Pixels Backrooms canon, was what I began to work on first. This was a simple entity with the goal of chasing the player while being escapable, unlike the Smiler. To make it, I modeled the monster in Blockbench and had Dead Comedian give it a set of animations. Oh yeah, cheers for that by the way. I then imported the model to the mod, gave it the ability to walk around and attack the player, uh oh, and boom. That's pretty much a mostly finished entity. Only thing left to do was the sounds. Now, I could just rip these sounds directly from the video of Origin, but doing that seemed unfair. And more importantly, a violation of copyright. So I did some digging and stumbled across some information that explained that Kane used monkey sounds slowed down to create the bacteria's noises. Which, I mean, you know, I can do that. <laughs> now what the fuck? Anywho, this is now how the bacteria acts and sounds in game. Get away from me! Get away from me. No! As for the death moth, you can actually fight it back, unlike the other monsters, and it is just a simple monster that will chase you around inside the hallways. Really nothing special to it, but it is a cool addition. And that brings us to the end of the alive features inside of the backrooms, which means we can start working on some other functionality. Before improving the internal backrooms gameplay, we first had to solve three issues. How do you get in? What keeps you there? And of course, how do you get out? And the answer to that is fairly simple. I needed an entrance, a way to set a spawn point, and an exit. On the other hand, coding this was an absolute nightmare. To make the player enter the backrooms, I set up a configured feature that spawns an entrance block randomly around the overworld. The block's code essentially works by activating a teleport function upon collision with the player. The teleportation then sends the player to the custom dimension and places them at the height of the backrooms floor. On the other end, the exit block, which appears as a door, has a very similar function. Upon collision, it will send the player to the world height of the overworld and give them slow falling. The spawn point of the player will also be reset to prevent any problems with the next feature. So we now have a full exit and entrance gameplay loop, which is awesome, but somewhat pointless if the player can just die to escape. This is where Romeo comes in. Using a mix-in for the player, it made it so upon entering the custom dimension, it will set the player's spawn point. Romeo's contribution brings us up to the point where we can fully run tests of entering, exploring, and of course exiting the backrooms. And what better way to test it than to bring the man himself with me. Oh. Hello, there's a cow in here. And a horse. Oh my goodness. And a smile and do not turn around. Ah, 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 it's a guy with arms, it's a guy with the arms. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't mark. like all that. <gasps> Shit, it's right there. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> I have the smiley guy. I have the smiley guy. I have the smiley guy. Of course, he's after me. Problem solved. <laughs> I think. Wait, 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 wait. Come here. Holy shit. Is, it? Is, this it? Shit. Is this, this it? is it? Is this it? Is this it? Is it? We've had an exit. Let's go. Alright. Oh, no. And of course, a huge thank you to Romeo for his help. His channel will also be linked down in the description. So before we finish up, I made sure to run a small test, which went as expected. Wait, I think he's glitched. <laughs> is he okay? Sir? Oh, sh This is my husband. <laughs> Sir? Uh, you just kissed my husband. <laughs> Why <are> you? Jesus, <laughs> 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 would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the actor?
but more importantly I implemented a few final features to keep the game interesting. The two most important features were the supply crates and the checkpoint block. The checkpoint block, which was also coded by Romeo, works like a bed and sets the players spawn in that area. The crate, on the other hand, has a few other uses. Both of these blocks were spawn in the supply rooms, areas that are usually safe and provide a small amount of assistance to the players. These rooms let the players save their progress and gather supplies for the rest of the trip. The crates found in this room will drop certain useful items when mined, including a shield, food, arm and water, which has incredible healing properties, and a whistle. The whistle will play a loud sound which spreads up to 150 blocks just in case the players lose each other. Alternatively, the players can use the crates for storage if they have extra resources they wish to save for later. The very last feature I kinda just added for fun, and as with everything else I make, it is lawless. Hey. Not working. <laughs> what if it's not working? <laughs> is it supposed to be doing something? Playing. You guys can't hear that? I still can't hear <laughs> Can you seriously not hear that? <laughs> yes, no. we can't hear it. Well anyway. It's time. Okay, so I have set up a mod that I will hopefully uh, spend a couple hours playing, and uh, there is little areas around here that will allow you to access it. Once one of us finds one, or happens to touch one, uh, tell everyone so we can all head into the same area, okay? Okie dokie. Aye aye, Captain. Thank oh, you. what's this? Sheep. Oh, oh, don't touch it. Do oh, not touch it. There we go. Alright, who wants to go first? Chicken. 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 <laughs> Cece went in. Alright, everyone in. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. oh, come off it. Is this the back rooms? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the back rooms. She's too safe. Uh, this, oh, what is this? Ever. This here is a checkpoint block, so when you see one of these, right click it so you can set your spawn point. Are we all sticking okay. together? Well, listen, um, so in case yeah. you can't tell, the final goal is to get out of here, which means we have to find an exit structure, which you will be able to find oh. around the place. Uh, it was black. <laughs> Yeah, so there's oh, a yeah. couple, couple little bit of quirks you might want to find. First of all, uh, the lights do turn on and off, and there is certain like interest rooms like this one here that you'll find around the place. And oh, also, there's a little chair. And, um, other things. Yeah, there's chairs. Wait, there's, there's, there's a speaker! Play your mixtape! Oh, oh. There's a chance there's Imagine Dragons. I can't hear it. Jason, it's not working. I can't hear it. Yeah, we can't hear it. <laughs> Yo. Hi, bee. There's a bee. There's, There's a, a bee. bee. There's a bee. Oh, there is a oh. bee. I see how it oh. is. Don't even have to <laughs> crouch. Oh, that hole. was very tempting. Oh. Go in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> I don't know why that like scared that. me so bad. <laughs> Oh, the guy. Uh, uh, I, I, I found a friend. What kind Where? of friend? Where? I'm gonna go meet I him. I see. Oh, <laughs> up the stairs. Yep. Oh, we found the other side. Okay. <laughs> oh, run the oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> I like being behind the action. Get in the run, 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 run. What's that? Oh, you run, 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 run. <laughs> <laughs> I can't run, I can't run. Oh, great. Oh. 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 Help me. <laughs> Sprinkle stuff. I can my breath. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of, uh, oh. lot of goop. Wait, oh, what? What's down here? Oh, stop! Yeah, see, I'm not schizophrenic. <laughs> oh, bad storage, bad storage, bad storage. There's a, there's a little dude there. Aww. Where? Oh. A little dude? Oh. He's fine. Oh! No, he wasn't fine. Bye, man. Oh. I'll be okay. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I can't wait for someone to cut to sprinkles. Oh. Hello? That's not happening. Oh, the sky! If I see anything, I'm not prepared. <laughs> this is so much worse when you're by yourself. I genuinely feel sick. This actually sucks. This sucks. See, I could have already gone through these places and I just don't remember. What the? This is nice. Can I just stay here? Oh, I just want to stay here. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You're gonna fall in something. Yeah, no, I, I know B. someone's gonna punch me. B, let's see. No! Where are you? Oh, on the other side of the pitfalls. Oh, no. There's pitfalls? <laughs> I've made a mistake. Well, hello there. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
goopy. Oh, sorry. Ow. That may have been me. Ow. Oh, it's you. <gasps> oh my god. Is there... <laughs> no, that was me. That was me. I got scared. I started punching you, thinking that you were a, a spooky. Oh my god. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What was that? That's not us. Let's go. We gotta go. Go, 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 go. I didn't do that. Hello? Hello? Wait. Wait. <laughs> this way. Wow, Hello. that's we reunited. That's pretty crazy. So I guess we have to go try and find sprinkles. Yeah, let's go find sprinkles. Come on. I'm, I'm well, gonna defuse it. Who's ready for the funeral? I'm defusing it. Calm down. You're defusing it? How are you it? defusing it? Bomb. I've done it. I did it. I defused it. It works? You defused it. Uh, they don't attack in, in light. Can I kiss him? For, for mm. example. Mwah. It's a very kissable fellow over here. Where? I like oh. kissing fellas. Let's see if it's no, okay this is... as well. <laughs> Chase is <laughs> going out of order. Oh, he's no. not gay! <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not gay! <laughs> I mean, I don't, has any of you guys tried breaking the walls? Do you say breaking the walls? I told them to break the walls and they're all just punching it or not. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh, there's stuff down there. This? Don't even, don't even look at me. Nobody touch me, cause after last yeah, nobody... time, I don't trust any of you. I want to see what's down there though. There, oh, could, yeah. be, there could be secrets. Hey, uh, <laughs> guys, I'm going down. See you, see you, see you. Um, that's a terrible idea. Oh god, you can play more than one cassette at a time, guys. Goodbye, guys. It was nice knowing you. Yeah. Yeah. See you, see you. Or someone has to join him. No, what? <laughs> Oh, we're in, we're in separate oh rooms, my like, god, <laughs> Cece! You don't, you didn't see the injustice that just occurred. Let's go. How? Did you just kill her? Okay. All right. I found another checkpoint. Hello, hello. <laughs> ah. Is that is, is that is that a car is that car alarm in the game or outside? You hear a car alarm? It's not in the game. Okay, so the someone's breaking into a car I outside. I think your car's getting stolen. Cece. I think someone's stealing my car. Okay, uh, fine, whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's this? I don't think he's coded these properly. <laughs> no, he did. He added that one. Oh, wait, what's up with this room? I told... Oh, did you, I think did... we're stuck here. Did you hear that? <laughs> I, don't... I did hear that. I don't know where it came from. I don't like that. Oh, is this... Oh, oh my god, we found oh, the exit! I mean, what? We made it to the exit. It was just a... Wow! <laughs> yeah. Yay! No, All big, sprinkles, sprinkles. Oh, everyone go. Oh. It's just everyone go. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Oh my goodness. This is scary. Oh, my oh are you kidding?